case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1980, the Supreme Court of the United States presided over a case that delved into the critical issue of workplace safety. Whether employees could refuse to do work deemed dangerous under the Occupational Safety and Health Act. The dispute at the center of the case, Whirlpool Corp. v. Marshall, involved two employees disciplined for their refusal to carry out a task they rightfully viewed as unsafe. The task in question revolved around a wire mesh guard screen, previously implicated in a fatal accident, at the plant where the employees worked. Instructed to remove objects from the mesh screen and to conduct maintenance work on overhead conveyors, the employees expressed safety concerns to their foreman and opted not to proceed with the task. Despite these concerns, the employer reacted by disciplining the two, asking them to punch out without pay for the remainder of their shift. With support from their union, the employees appealed for relief, seeking the removal of the reprimands from their records and compensation for lost pay. The case moved up the legal system, reaching the Court of Appeals, which reversed the lower court's decision in favor of the workers. The case subsequently grabbed the attention of the Supreme Court, who intervened to evaluate the earlier ruling's correctness. After careful deliberation, the Supreme Court upheld the appellate court's judgment. The majority opinion maintained that the Occupational Safety and Health Act does protect employees' rights to refuse engagement in tasks that they reasonably believe could result in serious injury or even death. The court also upheld a regulation against workplace discrimination for those employees who refused to perform tasks posing an imminent danger. As a result, the disciplined employees received the requested relief, including the expungement of their reprimands and due compensation for their lost pay. In the process, the Supreme Court put employers on notice. The safety of their employees should be a top priority, and ignoring this may result in not just organizational but also legal repercussions. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.